Yep, but that's the uh, the booklet that I have used in the past or all these years, you know, to do outreach or train, you know, uh, like a county staff or like when I was working with the American Red Cross, you know, and again, it, yeah, it was like providing a manual, but then yes, it, it there's definitely, you know, a lot of room for discussion and, and other learning in between all that information. It's not necessarily, um, you know, a booklet that you would just give somebody necessarily anyway that wasn't familiar with working with right. Native Americans. Right. So, right. Maybe, so. Ms. Joe, maybe yeah. what we could do is um, do a how to use this manual um, sort of a, an outline to go with it so that people would be able to fit it into whatever their paradigm was for meetings and trainings. Right, exactly. I like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, and that's what I was kind of thinking as far as like developing in, in the development of whatever the strategic plan is going to look like with obviously the input from, from you all, um, you know, because I've already kind of started on the curriculum part, but again, um, you know, before I do anything with it, obviously, you know, I'm going to run it past this group, and it's, that's kind of where I'm starting out also is, is uh, putting together something to, again, yes, go along with the accessing Native Americans with disabilities, and especially once I go out and actually do on-site trainings at the ILC. You know, it will be basically, you know, more of a step-by-step, -step, you know, easier thing to, uh, to to work with, and you know, it, it won't be complicated or anything like that for the ILCs to be able to actually do this. It won't require a lot more resources or as far as funding for the ILCs to to do this either. So. I think that's a really good thing to make sure they understand at the outset because everybody is so kind of concerned with money. Exactly. 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 <laughs> okay, any other um, comments or input on the on these calls? If not, I'd like to move okay. on to the next set. And and these are the website development goals, and this is the last of the goal areas, and we have three goals in this area. One, of course, is to develop the website. The second is DSLC to maintain the website on an ongoing basis. And third, the website to contain links uh -huh. to all appropriate resources. And then as far as in the meeting notes from October, Joe had asked if the website development will include links to other resources as a separate page that the ILCs can access. <coughs> and yes, everybody who, you know, um, checks out the website um, will have access to any of the information or links, you know, so it will be open to anybody. Also, on the website development, this is Tanner, um, one of the things that is um, been kind of a uh, hard to obtain, I guess, is, is actual artwork for the website because we want to change, you know, the website face page, basically, or home page you know, with some um, uh, appropriate, more appropriate, like, artwork or colors or something. So if any of you all have any pictures or any ideas or anything, can you please 
forward them to me or, or let me know. Uh, Tanner, this is Joe. If, okay. Is there a way that we could maybe use this to showcase uh, Native artists? Um, it, I haven't really formed my thought clearly, so I'm stumbling on it. But, um, you know, have submissions from around the state and use them on the website for a brief amount of time and, you know, with permission and then return them to the artist? Yes, I, I kind of yes, I, uh, I been uh, or I'm contacting, or I'm um, contacting some consumers, consumers and, people that, and people that I know that are artists. That are artists. Oh, I'm getting a lot of. Hello. Uh, oh, okay, uh, but I have been actively. Con Hello contacting consumers that are artists and asking asking them exactly that. Um, so there's a few people, you know, that I, I mean, I haven't received anything from yet, but we're very interested in, you know, in doing that. Again, I mean, it's a so great again, idea. I mean, it's a great idea. I haven't received anything I haven't yet. received uh, anything okay. yet. Yeah, I, I, this is Adam. I really like the idea as well. And I'd love to have us, you know, feature whether we can get, preferably we get the, uh, the art electronically, otherwise figuring out a way to scan it into, a, into an electronic format so that we can feature it like each month or each quarter, a different artist, and, and have that be one of the, you know, really one of the centerpieces of the website. Right, exactly. Good morning, Tanner. This is Dr. Val. Good morning, all. Hello, Dr. Val. Okay. Hi, I've been listening in. Hi, Hello. Dr. Good. Val. Hi, Okay. Yeah. And this is Peter. I'm online, too. Yes. Okay. Hello, Mr. Peter. Hello. <laughs> Welcome, Peter. It's a good time, I think, to remind everybody, if you came on late after the session had started, that the recording of the, of the session will be on the website, so you can go back and hear what's taking Thank place, and, and of course, Thank we'll you. send the notes out. And we are currently looking at the, uh, the website development mm -hmm. goals and discussing those. So, Tanner, for the website, what's the audience? The audience is Mostly the ILCs? Yes. At this point, the ILCs and um, and well, obviously, and the DOR, but um, initially, but otherwise, it would be open to any other agency or anything that's interested in you know working within the Native American communities. Okay. Jenny, this is Chris. If that's the case, it would be a really good tool to um, be able to like almost like a listserv where maybe there's a message board where people could ask questions or share information. Is it possible to do something like that on the website? Uh, yes, it, it would be. Um, and I believe um, Nate says that we have something like that set up, although I'm not, I haven't actually utilized it yet myself either. I have gotten a, an inquiry from a gentleman in Montana Anna, who came across the website accidentally, but um, asked a lot of questions, and, uh, and my reply to him is posted on the website. Right. So. I've noticed that this is Joe. Since we uh, have upgraded our website, I've been getting so many inquiries, um, quite a number. I mean, in, in the first couple of months, as many as in the years before with the old website. And I think that. Uh, the contact us or, you know, give us your opinion or something, you know, uh, for people to, to react to is a great idea. Right, right. And that's, and that's so far, currently, it's, it is on our, our website. Uh, the, the thing that we <coughs> would like to really see, though, on the website is, um, as I need, or I would like it to, I mean, I don't know how to do it, but um, 
you know, to kind of change the format around a little bit. And I know there, you know, I have heard from some people who have visited the website that they still don't feel that it's necessarily accessible. So, so one of the things I would really like you all to do again, though, is, you know, take a look at what it currently looks like. There's not a lot of links or information on it right now, um, kind of because of the format. But also, you know, take a look at it and just let me know your first impression. Right now, when you pull it up, there's there's just a lot of text. So any type of feedback or anything would be great. And again, you know, especially I want to get the a different artwork up. And uh, for those of you that don't know, then it's or don't remember, it's uh, www.nailp.com. Repeat that again. It's n a i l p dot com. Thank it's you. Like, yeah. I just put it in there. Mhm. Mm Other comments on the website, goals. If, if not, then uh, I think it's time to move on to something new and to start looking at uh, what are called SWATs, which stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. And if any of you have been, been involved much in strategic planning before, you'll probably recognize those. Um, let me get this a little larger here. And there we go. And the strengths and weaknesses are basically internal factors, while the opportunities and threats are the and the external or environmental factors that we have to deal with. Um, and these are the uh, things that we need to keep in mind in order to create uh, effective strategies that we can then use to achieve the goals that we've set. And let's take a look at uh, what is that? Oh, no, I didn't put Peter, did you did you put that in there? No, I, I was. I, I, I got a message button. that you wanted. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't get wrong, but <laughs> I, I'm just playing uh, with it. I can understand <laughs> that. I'm <laughs> It's pretty easy to do. <laughs> you try to find it. I, that's what I spent some time on, Val. <laughs> yeah. You can find it. I, I'm gonna keep trying. All right. But with the strengths, weakness, opportunities, and threats, so the strengths and the weaknesses are usually looking at the inside, and the, and the threats and opportunities are usually looking at the outside Correct. of the organization. So with, with our strengths right. and weaknesses... Ex exactly. So here, if you look at, if we start with the strengths and weaknesses, um, the, these are the factors that we possess or that we lack. Um, and that affect our ability to accomplish our goals. So you're looking at things like personnel or staffing, uh, funding, credibility, things of that nature, uh, infrastructure, experience, leadership, all of those kinds of things. Any, any questions about that? In terms of our, 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 our group, because we're not in a in a. Well, these are all going to okay. be as they as they apply to the goals okay. that we have set uh -huh. for this group, yeah, for our strategic plan. Okay. 